Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav from automationstepbystep.com and in this session we are going to learn about the page loading strategies in Selenium. This is going to be very interesting. We have three page loading strategies used in Selenium. It is normal, eager and none. And in a moment I will tell you about all this. So let us start with the page loading strategies. And before doing this, let me go to my project. So I will open my Eclipse and this is the project we have been working on and let me very quickly first create a new class so I will say new class in my test package and I will name this as page loading demo and that's it let me also create a main method I will say main and control spacebar on my keyboard to bring this auto suggestion and this is my main method and here I will start writing my code. Now before uh, discussing the normal strategy, whenever we use Selenium to visit any web page, Selenium waits for the web page to be loaded and there are different page loading strategies used by Selenium. Sometimes it waits for the entire page to be loaded along with all the CSS, JavaScript, images, everything. Sometimes we do not want all the resources to get loaded and therefore we can use some different strategies. Sometimes when we are using a single page application, it keeps on loading, there is dynamic content and therefore we may have to use a different strategy for page loading in Selenium. So let us start with the normal page loading strategy and here it waits for the entire page to be loaded along with all its CSS images etc all these resources and here there is a in JavaScript in the JavaScript used by the browsers there is document dot ready state there is a event that is returned when we have the document dot ready function and in case of the normal strategy Selenium web driver waits until the load event file is returned. So do not worry about that. I will tell you in a moment how exactly you implement this normal page loading strategy. So here we have to use the options class. So here I will say now I'm using uh, Chrome. So I will say Chrome options. If you're using any other browser, you can go to that options class. So I will say Chrome options and make sure it is coming from this Selenium library and you can say anything options or chrome options equals new chrome options and here then using the options class or the object that you have created for the options class we can set the page loading strategy so i will say options dot and i will say page set page loading strategy and here i will say page load strategy dot and you can see here we have normal and eager and none so let us start with the normal page loading strategy so I will select normal here and that's it now after this I can directly uh, start my Chrome browser so let me just copy the code for that so this is the one if you are using a Chrome driver exe, you can give the path to the Chrome driver exe or you, if you are using the web driver manager like I am using, you can just say web driver manager dot Chrome driver dot setup. Make sure that the library is already added. And now I will say web driver driver new Chrome driver and I should be passing this options object here. And now all the options capabilities will be set for this browser. And now I can say driver dot get and I can use any website let us say google.com and then I will say driver dot quit so at this moment we have the normal page loading strategy in place and I will do a right click run as Java application and it opens the Chrome browser and loads google.com and quits. It was very fast. Now you may not see any uh, very visible change, but yes, when we use a normal strategy, it waits for the complete page to be loaded. And this is the strategy used if you do not set any page loading strategy. So if do not if you do not uh, explicitly say if you want to use some page loading strategy, then by default, normal strategy is used. The other one is eager. Now in this case, 
Selenium web driver waits until the initial HTML document has been completely loaded and it does not waits for all the style sheets, images or all the subframes to be loaded. So it is much faster because it does not wait for all the resources to be loaded. And in this case, it waits until the DOM content loaded event fire is returned. Now, just in case you are getting confused what all this is, you can actually uh, go to your browser and search for document dot ready javascript function this will give you all this information all this uh, different events that we are talking about so you can see all this here so here you can see if i search for load you can see on load and if i search for dom you can see dom content you can see this DOM content loaded. All this is returned after the page is loaded and this is returned by the browser's JavaScript and this is what Selenium waits for. So in case of eager, it will just wait for DOM content loading loaded event and then move to the next action. And here we just have to change the page loading strategy to eager. So let me show you if I change this to eager here. That's it. And now I will run again and check and it opens the browser and you could see it was very fast and the last one is none in this case uh, selenium web driver only waits for the initial page to be loaded and i will just change this to none and check and yes and i will run again and you could see it was very fast it did not even wait for all the things to come up on the screen or to be rendered on the browser screen so this is how you use the these page loading strategies i hope this was useful i hope you learned something new today and i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning